Ooh, just, just, what is that? Ooh, ooh, what is that? They did not have to go this hard on this trailer. Black Myth Wook. Oh. Hello, and welcome back to another video. It's been a week since the last Elden Ring video, and you know what? I haven't played it ever since. I... I let me just give you a little context, okay? I think I've I've already dropped Final Fantasy 15 and I've and I've technically I wouldn't say technically I've dropped Elden Ring. You what? After fighting Rolana, I just didn't care no more. I I I the only reason why I beat Elden Ring was by chance and by chance it was. It was a freaking miracle I beat that game. Like, I haven't touched a Souls game ever since after that. I tried playing Lies of P, gave up on that, like, after the first boss. I just, I'm, I'm not a Souls guy. You know what? And I'm gonna stay that way. I'm probably never ever gonna be a Souls guy. But if you're ever gonna see me play Souls games, I'm gonna say, um, follow my Twitch channel, because I will be streaming. I know I said I was gonna stream at the end of this month. Technically, the end of this month ain't here yet. It honestly depends, but it's either the end of this month or beginning of next month. Follow my Twitch. We're gonna live stream a lot of games, including Souls games, and we're gonna get back on the Elden Ring DLC on that. I just don't. I don't wanna play things. I wanna play something that I wanna enjoy and wanna have fun with. We got series coming up. We got Black Myth Wukong, which is the trailer we're reacting to to this day. It is the final trailer they uploaded. And then we're gonna also react, to, and then we're also gonna do a series on the life is on Life is Strange as well. I love Life is Strange, like the first game, but I never played the rest of the episodes because by the when the game first came out, I just played the first episode. The game was released in episodes, kind of like the Walking Dead series. It I only got to play the first two episodes, I think, and I haven't played anything else. And since the new game is about Max. I'm definitely going to upload that. I feel like we get some good laughs out of, especially after the first Life is Strange, because I know there's some stuff in that game that just made me laugh, and you know I could definitely work my videos with that format. But also, I also asked you guys about Kingdom Hearts, and it, this is giving me that that Final Fan. Like, I know Kingdom Hearts is in Final Fantasy, but it's giving me that seeing how it's Nomura who made, who directed Kingdom Hearts. I feel like I might, it might have that magic, that feel that I get with Final Fantasy 7. I'm trying to get that feeling. And as well, Kingdom Hearts 4 is coming out maybe next year or two years from now. Who knows? I, I don't know. Um, yeah. And um, we're going to do a series on Kingdom Hearts. We're going to be playing. I'm going to be playing through. You'll probably just see this uh, series for me playing 1 through 3 because it's like, a whole bunch of other games plus like some mobile games or something like that and i don't feel like recording that i just feel like playing maybe i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll have to decide on that but yeah we're gonna react to the black myth wukong trailer i've seen bits and pieces of it but i wanted to save this for a video but i have been debating whether if i wanted to keep playing elden ring and recording it and i guess my mental health just said no all right so lich Let's watch this Black Beach Wukong. The game is coming out in, in in what? Three days. It's coming out in three days. Like, I, I've been waiting on this game for four years. I remember they announced it. I was like, this game is never coming out. It's a Chinese developed game. It's a basically a tech demo. It is never seeing the light of day. Boy, was I proven wrong. This is another game that was like that. That was like. It was another game that basically proved me wrong that I didn't think was ever going to come out, and that was Stellar Blade, and this game actually came out. We actually had physical copies for Stellar Blade. It was hard to find, but we did have them. Wukong is a physical edition. I'm kind of scared to, like, I haven't pre-ordered Black Myth Wukong because I'm kind of waiting to see what the PS5 version is like. If the PS5 version, if it's not blurry, if it performs okay, I'll be getting on PS5 because that's how I like recording my games. But if it's not, I'm gonna have to record it off of my PC, and I absolutely hate recording on PC. It is. Let's watch the trailer. 
And I also been hearing some weird stuff where people were trying to cancel um, the game. Like, it's the same thing like what Stellar Blade went through, except it's not about the. It's not about. I guess to say it, it's not diverse. Well, the game is about like animal people or whatever Chinese mythology. Why? Why would you talk about diversity? It's animals. Freaking people, man. Oh my god. Is that Groot's cousin? Bruh, this is... I think I just might have to just bite the bullet and get it on PC. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, because I'm like... Who this game look good? Nice. Dude, them transformations, man. I... <laughs> I'm so ready to play this game. I know this game is gonna be super hard, and guess what? I'm happy it's not. Ooh, just, just, what is that? Ooh, ooh, what is that? Oh, yeah, I look like I'll mess with that form. What is that? Looks like a minotaur. It's not, but looks like it. This PC has to be, like, the best thing for this game visually. I saw this part on a on a TikTok. Did you hear this? <laughs> like the, the beats go, it's gonna drop hard. It's gonna drop hard. He was eating watermelon. I love watermelon. Huh? Here you go, here you go, here you go, watch this. They did not have to go this hard on this trailer. Okay, dude. They did not have to go this hard on this part of the trailer. <laughs> they did not have to do that. Bro, the beat just went crazy on this. I'm gonna watch this one more time because, dude, they did not have to go that hard. Oh my god, this game needs to come out. This game needs to come out, man. I <laughs> need this game now. That's a giant, what, grasshopper? Red moon, okay. That was like some Doctor Strange stuff. Dude, the bosses in this game are insane. Like, it just looks like you're just fighting bosses this whole game. You know what? I'm cool with that. Because that's what we're here for, right? The boss fights. Who's he fighting, like, four gods or something like that? Ooh. Oh, dude. Literally three days left, and I took two days off for this game, man. I took two days off of work for this. Ah, oh. domain expansion. So wait a minute. This one thing I did notice about this game is Wu Kong a mute character, main int character. Oh, I don't have a. See, here's the thing. I don't have a problem with mute main characters because I play Persona, but sometimes I would like my characters to actually talk. And I really hope for like Persona like six, maybe our protagonist could speak more. Like I, it's fine, it's fine. I have no problem with it. But bro, this game looks like it's. It seems like there's mobs of enemies in this game, which is good, but. I feel like this game is definitely like way more boss centric, which is something that I 
would I honestly wouldn't mind having because in all honesty sometimes when you're like in between boss fights and video games I know this happened to me in a stellar blade a few I think it was like maybe it was like one time it was like when you was in uh, the matrix 11 when you fought Taki I think it was like in between some of them moments I'm like bro where are the boss fights at maybe that's why I like the whole last section of the game because it was just like it's just adrenaline adrenaline and boss fight and boss fight and boss fight and the game just went crazy in the last three hours but yeah black myth i am excited for this game this game is going to be fun i hopefully it runs well on ps5 like i'm gonna be looking out for them i'm gonna be looking out for people actually playing the game because um you know if the game runs well on ps5 guess what i'm getting it on ps5 if it don't I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and get it on PC because and record it that way because yeah. Anyway, um, are you, any of you guys excited for Black Myth Wolf Cult? Are you playing it? Or are you just gonna be watching people play it? Or you're skeptical about it? You know, coming from me, it seems like a lot of these games come out. This Phantom Blade Zero is another one of these. I think it's also a Chinese developed game. It seems like a lot of like the Eastern devs are actually putting in the work when it comes to making video games because they're not being funded by these like organizations that are trying to make gaming this like this like diverse thing like dude i just want to play video games and have fun i don't care if you're black i don't care if you're gay i don't care if you're straight i just want to play freaking video games and you keep shoving this stuff down our throats and it's just like can we just not can we go back to like the early 2000s you know early 2010s that we could just play video games and have fun is that so hard and i think that's probably why i enjoy like a like we like you look at all my games i mostly play now i guess persona 3 i'm back playing this in my own free time persona stellar blade all the souls games you know the it's barely stories in souls games this is the reason why people play them they play them because of the action they play them because of the fun even though you know the fun is like you probably raging your eyeballs out and maybe make yourself you know pop a blood vessel but i feel like a lot of games have lost their meaning it and i'm no last of us and naughty dog caused a lot of this mess with like Games have to be story driven and diverse. Every game doesn't have to have a deep story. Every game doesn't have to have diverse characters. Every game doesn't have to have that. If your game sole intention is for that, cool. But it does not have to have that to be a good game. It it really doesn't. It like we just want to do something cool. We want to have some fun. We want to get out of this whole place we call the real world. Ill. We just want to have fun. We just want to play video games and chill and be in our rooms and like not be involved with that spiel out there you know and i think that's also another reason why i watch anime and stuff like that and i just i know i bear it like listen i i barely watch like deep deep movies anymore or anything that has anything to do with like real life stuff i i don't watch them no more i really don't it's just it you know it's too much crap that i have to deal with in my own life i'm like do i want to deal with that in re gaming no i don't <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna close this off here black moose wukong expect the video on wednesday the first video on wednesday or thursday gonna do this full series on the channel this game, I don't think it's going to be too long. I think it's going to be, like, the length of, like, Stellar Blade, I feel. But with a heck of a lot more bosses, for sure. So, like, 30, 40-ish hours, something like that. But, yeah. I hope I see you guys there. And um, if you're not playing Wukong, let me know what you guys are playing. So we can have a little comment. A little discussion in the comment section. Really appreciate you guys for um, leaving comments and support and stuff. So, um, yeah. I don't know if Elden Ring has dropped, but I honestly don't feel like playing it no more. Well, at least not right now. Anyway. Peace.